hello. Now we're going to install Frank Mocap. To do that, you need some things first. You need to install Visual Studio, CUDA driver, Miniconda, and FFmpeg. Well, first install Visual Studio. It's a little bit difficult to to get this installation nowadays, so I added in the GitHub the VS Community executable, so you can run that and install. And when you install it, look at these options that I I had installed it. I I didn't install it again because it's kind of hard to uninstall and install it again. But when you put to install, I think the most important option you must check is development for desktop with C++, this one. You check this in run the installation, I think you won't have any problem. And installing the Visual Studio Community 2017. Okay. Now, after installing Visual Studio, you can install the CUDA driver 10.0. In this case, I got, the, I got it here. It takes a while to install, and you don't have to install all the files. You can click OK to, to so it can extract the files for the installation. After it extracts the file, it will open this screen for you to choose, so you can allow and continue. You can do the personalized one, the advanced. And you just need to choose this one, the CUDA. And it will install it. I won't install it because I already have it installed. So after the CUDA, you can install Miniconda which is very simple, we just go next and next until it finishes. This is uh, the installation. I also won't do that because I already have my installed, but it's very simple. Well, after Miniconda, you can install FFmpeg, which you do like this. You have the file, you extract it, which I'm going to do here, it will create a folder, I'll make the name simpler, after that I'll open the folder and copy the, the address. After copying it, I'll go to my computer, properties, then go to advanced computer configuration, uh, variable, then I'll add it to the system path, which is here, path, double click, I can create a new one and put it here. Okay. I I won't leave it here because I already have it in another place. But that's the way you do. So now we got Visual Studio, CUDA driver, Minicon and FF and PAG installed. Here are the links. There is these folders, these GitHub's folder that you must download. 
So I will download the Frank mocap one here, download it. Now download to the folder I'm creating to do this. In this case, it's Frank mocap. Save it. Download my GitHub to, to the same folder. I think it's the easier way to do that. Frank mocap. Save it. Now we go into that folder. And first I'll go to the Frank mocap master. Open. I'll select everything and choose to extract so it can extract to mocap, Frank mocap. So it goes here. Now I'm going to choose the other one. Select everyone, except the readme file, extract, same folder, it's done. After extracting these two githubs, now let me see what we can must do next. With the Conda created, we can open the Conda prompt. It will be created in our Windows. And we have something like this uh, base and the directory. We're going to change to the mocap created and Frank mocap. So here is the place I'm going to install everything. Now I'll get this instruction, just copy and paste. And it will ask about installing some dependencies. Yes. After it installs, you have to activate it. which is done with this command, which is the same we have here. After activating, you can see now we are using the Frank Mocap virtual environment we created just now, because the name is different. So, moving on, we can install some other things. Now the the toolkit. It takes a while, but it's already downloaded in my PC, so it's much faster. And install PyTorch and Torch Vision. Yes. It gives some error, but I didn't have much problem with it. With this finished, you must run this command. This command is created after you install Visual Studio. It is necessary for the hand uh, object detection that the installation will have to compile. So you copy this, paste here, and execute. 
you see here that it was initialized. Now it's the most fun part. You execute this command that was downloaded from my GitHub and it will do most of the difficult things you have to do and it will take a long while depending on your internet internet connection i think it can take to 10 20 minutes maybe more to download it all and finish the installation i'm going to pause it waiting for it to finish then we'll go we're going to the last step now that the batch has finished we have to do one more thing and uh, the for the frank mocap to work we need to download the two files from the two sites this one and this one you have to create her in uh, you have to register on both of sites to download the file the first one you must download is mpip simplify public v2 which is download section it's the first one here and the this other file you must download the models smplx v11.zip which is this site and it is this first download link after you download it you have them you have to extract them to extra data smpl so i'm going to open it here and open this other one and go to frank mocap extra data Create a folder, SMPL, and I must go to models, MPLX, simply SMPLX neutral, copy of extract over here. It's here. And the other one, go to models and put this file inside this folder now everything is set and we can test it at the end of the github page I got a sample execution code this code is going to execute the body uh, pose estimation and the hand pose estimation you can copy that and place it here in the Miniconda prompt. This, this option here, you add it so it can create the Pico file that you can convert it to FBX, which it's not ready, but I'm planning to, to create one. Well, as you can see here, it's already doing the deposit estimation it will take a while I will pause it until it finished so I can finish explaining the workflow and the installation Well, you can see here, from his eyes, he's kind of happy. And me too, it's working. And here, <coughs> you can see it finished. Uh, this, this problem here, I, I think I couldn't solve it for myself and I didn't bother because it looks like a, he was trying to create a video of the the... the JPEG files you find in the output folder. I think it was this, but it, it won't 
give you problem to use the pose estimation stuff. So when you finished converting during the pose estimation, you have this new folder, mocap output. Here, you're going to have the pico file that can be used to convert to FBX. And you will have also the rendered images that it was done the pose estimation. They are all here. You see? So, that's it. I plan to do uh, the script, optimize, optimize it script to convert the pickle file to FBX, but um, I don't have it ready now. It's a future, I don't know how much time. And if you have problems installing on Windows, please add a comment on the video, or if possible, add an issue on the GitHub page, on my GitHub page, so I can see what I can do to help you. And if you have problems using the software, the best is to go to the official page, official GitHub page, and ask them then. I'm sure they will help you do whatever you need. That's it. Goodbye.